What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and last week a fan of the channel posted a question down in the chat which I wanted to address today. Does wearing plaid or stripes make you look fat? Sorry, I think I had the wrong comment there. Are graded comics always more valuable than raw comics? Mm, I would say not necessarily at all. Here's the deal with raw versus graded comics. Let's consider it as if it was a home. Let's say you got some crazy nice villa, you put your value at hopefully two million dollars, super nice house, right? Well, you know what? Some houses nearby open up and they're not that nice. And turns out your super nice villa that you got there, it's got cracks and this and electrical problems and flooding in the basement, etc. Right? So you go and get this crazy expensive home appraised and it only comes in at, let's say, one million. It's almost as if it had more value before you got it appraised. It is the exact same thing with comic books. When you get your books graded, you're getting a definitive realization of your value. Now, what does high grade mean? In most people's eyes, a high grade is about a 9.0 or higher. But to some people, a high grade means an 8.0 or higher. When you buy a high grade copy of a big book, it might not be a 9.8, it might be an 8.0, it might be a 9.2, it might be a 9.6, it could be an 8.5. So if you decide to submit a high-grade comic into a third-party grading company like CGC, you're running a massive risk of hurting the value of your comic. I think that's what most people seem to forget about getting your book slapped. If you're a fan of raw comics, I want you to put hashtag raw in the comments. If you're a big fan of getting books slabbed, I want you to put hashtag slab or slabbed in the comments. And while you're doing that, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking. I'm going to give you a perfect example of Batman 321, a raw copy of a fantastic shape version of Batman 321 should sell for about 40 bucks raw. A CGC 9.8 of this comic values at $500. So already you're saying, okay, that's a huge increase from the raw price. Well, yeah, it has to get the 9.8. Now, I could have sworn to you that this comic I had would have been valued at around a 9.4 or better, but when I submitted it to CGC, apparently had some issues inside the book that I didn't catch. I submitted mine in. I got a 6.5 because of some errors inside the book. Otherwise, the book was perfect looking from the front. Guess how much I sold it for? $31. Don't forget, I had to ship it out. I got it pressed. I got it graded. And all the shipping costs, you do the math, guys. Bought the book for $40, submitted for $40. I only gained $31 back. I basically wasted $60. Bucks. Let's take the example of Batman 234, which is the first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face classic cover. A raw high grade sells for anywhere from $400 to about $500 in this awesome book. A 9.8 of this book sells for $5,500. This is because it is an older book, it is very rare and difficult to obtain that pretty much perfect grade on a book like this. But watch this. The last 9.0, a still very respectable grade for this book sells for $405. Now that's interesting. If you bought this book raw for $500, it looks essentially perfect. Maybe you got it pressed, maybe you got it graded, so you're another, let's say 60 bucks in. $560, you get a 9.0. The best you can sell it is $405. Let's say you get dinged kind of badly and maybe there was just something you missed or it did have some visible, but things you, you didn't think they'd dock you for that bad, but they bring you down to an 8.0. The last 8.0 sold for $310. 8.0 to some people qualifies as a high grade, so you might have spent $400, $500 on this book, and now you got it graded by CGC. It's an 8.0, and the best you can hope for is like $300 after shipping and taxes. Are you starting to see what I'm saying here? Let's give you a bigger key. Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen 134, which is the first appearance of Darkseid. A raw high grade. Remember what we said about high grade. A raw high grade copy is going to run you between $550 and $650. Now, 
The last 9.8 sale of this went for a whopping $10,800. There's not many of these. A 9.8 is an extremely rare and excellent grade for this book and thus deserves a premium. But watch this drop off. Let's say you bought this for even, let's say, $500. You submit it to CGC, it looks perfect. You even get it pressed to ensure that it'll be even a better grade, and it comes back an 8.5. CGC submitters, like myself, will tell you there's a lot of times where you submit 9.8 worthy books and you can get as low as an 8.5 for some things that you don't see. It is not hard to submit a high-grade book and have it come back as an 8.5. An 8.5 of the first appearance of Dark Side goes for $420. So you took a gamble, you bought a $550 book, you put another 60 bucks into it, and now you've got a nice grade. An 8.5 is pretty impressive for that book, but you're only going to get like $450 on a good day. It might be worth cracking that slab open and just keeping it as a raw copy and selling it on eBay for $600. Just like our example of the house that someone thought was $2 million, if that appraiser tells you it's $1 million, you might want to rip that appraisal up and pretend like it never happened. Let's do a more recent book that is a key. Let's talk 90s here. We're going New Mutants 98, first appearance of Deadpool. Now, the Raws are all over the place. I've seen some that are on sale for $380. I, last weekend, I saw one in a shop that was being sold for $650. It was a nice copy. Now, if you submit that book in and you do pull off a 9.8, once again, are you going to get more money back? Yes. 9.8s right now of the first appearance of Deadpool were just 1,300. They just hit 2,000, and they seem to be climbing even higher. So, does it stand to reason that a 9.8 of this book is going to kick ass? Absolutely. But look at this. A 9.4 of Deadpool's first appearance is currently going for, like, 500 bucks. If I bought that comic last weekend for $650, submitted it into CGC and gotten a 9.4, which by the way, a 9.4 to the naked eye to people like you and me looks pretty much identical to a 9.8. I've seen 9.4s that I thought should get a full 10.0. So to say it's easy to get a 9.4 is an understatement. So let's say it comes back a 9.4. I spent $650 on the book. Now it's only going to sell for $500. I'm basically down 200 bucks. When the value of your items become realized, it can really change the game. It can either really work in your favor or you might really want to just crack it open and keep it raw. Now let's bring it super recent. Batman 89, we got the first appearance of Punchline. Books raw are selling for about 60 all the way up to $70 right now for this more recent key. Let's say you have a 9.8, and I actually do have a 9.8 of this. I submitted it myself and I got it. 9.8s are selling from between 120 all the way up to like $160. So if you get this book, for $60, you get it pressed, you get it submitted, you're $100 in, and it's worth like $130. Is it worth it? To some people, maybe, I would say. It definitely was worth it to me, especially since I didn't pay $60. I paid the $3.99 or whatever it was when it came out. But even just getting a 9.6, which is almost identical in every way to a 9.8, you're already losing money on this book. 9.6s are being sold for anywhere from $60 to $70. Wait, James, wasn't that the amount that it cost for a raw book? Yup. It's either you get a 9.8 or you're screwed on some of these brand new ones. I think you guys are starting to see that holding on to the raw books might be better than submitting them in. Now check this out. I just pulled this off my wall right up there. This is a 9.8 of Jason Todd, the second Robin's first appearance, as well as the first appearance of Killer Croc. I bought this for a raw dollar amount of, I believe it was $40, something like that. It was a very good deal on a very high grade book. And I thought, well, you know, it's going to get anywhere from an 8.0, maybe 8.5 or up. I'm going to submit it in. It's a big book. And guess what? 
it got the 9.8. This is like that same guy thinking his home was $2 million, and the appraiser comes out and tells him it's worth $8 million. And that is the risk you run when you submit your comics to CGC or otherwise. Now, I will say a 9.8 is very hard to obtain. I really think for a lot of brand new books, you have to get a 9.8 or you're not making any money, even if it's a key. Even bronze and silver age books here, you know, sometimes and a lot of times, a on appearance high grade looking copy is worth more than a 9.2, a 9.4, a 9.0, an 8.5, things like that. So essentially it comes down to this. Are slabs always more valuable than comics? Not at all. If they get appraised and they get the cream of the crop unicorn grades, they will absolutely pull in more money than a raw book. And I do believe that they should. A lot of risk went into submitting that, getting those costs, and it came back in your favor. I think it's proportionate to the risk. When I submit books to CGC, I really am having fun. I don't really look at it like I'm trying to make money. Do I occasionally get a nice 9.8 like this and I can make money? Yeah, but you know what? Usually I'm breaking even or even losing money. And I actually don't really care so much. I'm very type B, I'm very laid back. So it doesn't bother me. I do it as like a fun hobby. But do I have a lot of books in my collection that I'm keeping raw? You better believe it. I've never cracked a slab yet, but there have been times where I get a book back that's such a surprisingly unfortunate grade that I definitely think about cracking that slab and just having it raw. Because, you know, it's better and more valuable how it is raw than given a disappointing grade. Guys, I hope this answers your question about raw versus slabbed comics and value and price and all that. And just remember, just like most things in life, it's a risk. What are you going to do with that risk? Do you want to play it safe and just keep what you have slabbed or keep what you have raw? Maybe. Don't forget to write hashtag raw or hashtag slab or slabbed in the comments. Let me know what's your preference and what you think of this. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Your support lately has been tremendous. I've actually been having, for the first time, I'm having difficulty answering everyone's comments. I didn't think I'd be at that point yet, but I seem to be there. So thank you all. You've been amazing. Don't forget to hit like on your way out and keep on collecting.